Oh, OMG, guys. Oh, guys. Something it. just came to our door. Mm -hmm. And it looks pretty interesting. Mabuhai squad. Check out what just came to our door. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Amare la cucina. Yes, guys, you guys know our favorite pizza and Italian restaurant here in the Philippines. It's so good. And guys, this is a special pizza. Mmm, guys, this looks like a margarita. Yeah. Yum. Oh my gosh, look, guys, and it smells so good. Oh. This is the Apple Boy pizza. This, guys, is called Apple Boy pizza. So you know how Amare has Pinoy Boy pizza, which I invented? <laughs> well, this here is Apple Boy pizza. And guys, there's, um. Which will be available. Which will be available available soon. That There's will like... be Pinoy Boy Pizza. RJ! <laughs> Anyways, as I was trying to say, this is also a charitable pizza yeah. because some of the proceeds of all Apple Boy pizzas will go towards the Apple Drive project. Okay. RJ's advocacy and charity. And that's not it! Is this Apple Boy salad? I guess. Okay, how come Edmark did not make a Pinoy Boy salad? Edmark, what? This is unfair. So guys, this is also Apple Boy salad. Ooh, and is that arugula? Yum. Guys, here's Heinz, yes. Editing Friends Canada. There's Ate Elsie. Hi, Ate Elsie. You guys saw Ate Elsie's story, right? In yesterday's vlog. If you haven't, go check it out. Apple Boy pizza. Oh, she likes it. Is it good? I'm sorry, but it's weird. Because it's sweet. It, it tastes sour. Oh? More than sweet. Let's try it. Yeah. We thought it was a dessert pizza. It's not. So I guess this is different. It's still with tomato sauce. Mmm. 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 Not a dessert pizza. Not sweet. Like, I thought it was like, you know, apple, sweet candied apple or something. No. And strangely, it fits. Tomato sauce and apples, guys. And basil. Mmm. Oh, there's more basil if you want. Okay, so that's what the note said. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Very good. Guys, is it available now, Ramare? Sure. Apple Boy Pizza? We're not sure, but inquire if you want to try it. Mm, I like it. If you add a lot of basil, it lifts it up very different. Ate Elsie likes it. Go, eat more. Go, go, go. Obviously, I love Pinoy Boy Pizza the best, but if you are here in the Philippines, order one Pinoy Boy Pizza and one Apple Boy Pizza, and you tell me which one you like better. Guys, another thing you must order from Amare if you're ever here in the Philippines, crazy honey. Okay, so this is crazy honey, which is spicy honey. And this here is truffle honey. Truffles, guys! Mmm, it's so good on pizza. Which do you want to try, Heinz? Truffle. Truffle. Okay, so get go. What's the other one? Crazy honey, guys. They sell it by the bottle. And it's so good on everything, like pizza, chicken. I'm gonna have some spicy, crazy honey on my Apple Boy pizza. Just drizzle it on. Yes. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> truffles? Yeah. You can taste the truffles. Woo! Mm. Mm. Oh, guys, this is spicy. Open, guys. Open, mm -hmm. open. Eat, eat. Sorry, I'm giving you a piece I bit into. My bad. Hey, guys. Eat. Open. 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 Mmm. Yes. I asked Ate to eat more. She said, uh, Sirang diet mo. Ah, <laughs> Sirang diet mo. She said, this is like ruining her diet. You quit rice, right? Ate Elsie quit eating rice. Look at she lost a lot of weight. Yes. Good morning, Mabuhai squad. It's a happy Sunday. How are you all doing? Hmm? Did you sleep well? As for me, woke up early, went for a 5K run, and guys, it's a beautiful day out here in Manila. Um, check it out. See that? Beautiful, beautiful morning. It's about 8 a.m. Um, I just got in. It's like the perfect weather. It's 24 degrees at the moment. And Cypher is here, energetic. Yes. Good morning, Cypher. I know we're waiting for daddy. Daddy's sleeping in. He slept late. He was like looking for like house furnishings. <laughs> Guys, wanna see how we play? Come here. I pretend I'm a dog. He just ends up licking me. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, one day Cypher is gonna have a dog to play with, promise. Okay, Cypher, stop licking my camera. Guys, having a dog or having pets is just such a mood setter. Cypher, thank you so much. We really appreciate you resetting the mood every day. <laughs> Don't French kiss me, all right? Here, Cypher, have an antler. 
He loves this guy. Imagine having the urge to chew things. Like, I can't even imagine. Do you guys have a dog? What kind of dog? Let me know your dog's names. Um, I actually spent some time last night looking into dog breeds because security has become, I guess, a topic on my mind lately. We absolutely need a guard dog at the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. Now here's the thing about that. Security is really good at the subdivision, like super, super strict. So I'm not worried about like too many strangers coming in, but we also need like a next line of security. RJ and I, our lives are very public. You guys Guys will be seeing the inside of our house so we will be vlogging and we'll be doing house tours and all of that so we do need security we will have protection we will have security measures CCTV all of that good stuff but we also need a guard dog or guard dogs um, and I'm just afraid that if we get one of those really powerful breeds like Rottweiler, Doberman, German Shepherd that they might one day attack I don't know child that might wander onto our property like these are the fears that I have or maybe like a guest might come in without I don't know ringing the doorbell or something and I would be afraid of them you know being hurt by the animal because an animal that large is very scary I used to have a great game massive massive dog but so gentle like you can clap your hands and he would run for the hills because he was just afraid of everything but he was still huge and muscular so I know the power of an animal that is big you know so it's really something you have to be careful with you know and you have to get them from a reputable breeder because I, I heard that some Rottweilers are tend to be like really aggressive and acting out simply due to bad breeding. They're trying to breed out apparently that, I don't know, what is it, disobedience? I don't know, but they're trying to breed out that negative character trait in Rottweilers to have a more steady, mentally stable dog. So like, yeah, these are things I'm thinking about, Saif. And we need a dog that will treat you nicely, who won't hurt you, like look how small he is. <laughs> No matter what the dog, they need absolute good training. Personally, I think if we do get a larger dog, we would have to get expert training um, on the dog, like obedience school, the, the works. So yeah, anyways, that's what I was thinking about. Okay guys, positive affirmation time for Sunday, January the 10th. I radiate success and I prosper wherever I turn. There you go guys. Hope you enjoy today's positive affirmation as well as the beautiful view of the mountain. So nice. Now both my mom and my dad say that we should get a Jack Russell Terrier. Do you guys know JRTs? They are an awesome, awesome dog. I used to have one, lived for 16 years. Um, they're just great all around dogs, indoor, outdoor, so much energy, hyper. So they're great for the farm. And I have been considering getting a Jack Russell Terrier. Now, one of the disadvantages of a Jack Russell is that they tend to be very very predatory driven a little bit like my JRT used to chase around birds squirrels um, even cats so if we do get a JRT it's of utmost importance that we get this dog used to chickens small animals right um, I don't want them to go chasing like native for example native birds that we want to invite on the property or let's say I don't know monitor lizards on the property, I don't want it going after it and like killing it, you know what I mean? So that's something I'm considering too. But Jack Russell Terrier, definitely, definitely on the potential list for our next dog. RJ's awake and he prepared Cypher's mixed beef and what? And liver, he already ate a lot. Cypher, you have such a good appetite. I'm happy about this. Now here's the thing too, like we need a dog that will be, you know, gentle around Cypher. I, I, I'm just afraid he'll be trampled. He's just so small. They will be evicted if they're not gentle to Cypher. <laughs> RJ says they'll be evicted if they like are not gentle. Sifes, you're tough enough to take on larger dogs, right? How many pounds is Cypher? He's about three pounds now. Still a tiny dog. Now here's one of our dilemmas, guys. So Architect Dennis has been sending us photos of our new stairs at the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. And guys, our stairs are almost complete. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Now here's the thing, they're floating stairs. As in, kind of like this. Like, see the stairs here at my place? They're floating, which is a problem because like, let's say Cypher climbs the stairs and falls through one of these spaces and hits the ground. He can die. Um, so, not sure how we're gonna do this. I mean, 
I guess we can train Cypher not to go up the stairs. I personally wish they were not floating stairs, like it was maybe meshed or glass or something, you know what I mean? Wood, but I, I don't think we can make changes now. So uh, we might have to always carry Cypher with us up and down the stairs like we do now. Cypher doesn't climb these stairs. I think he knows he's not allowed. Um, he grew up with a barrier there. He just like now never crosses that section to go up. Another thing we were considering is putting like some kind of couch underneath the stairs so that if he did fall, he would fall on a couch. Um, not sure, still gotta think about that. What do you guys suggest? Another dog on the list that I would uh, love to consider, Border Collie. Now these dogs are livestock dogs. They're a working dog. They're the smartest dog in the world, apparently. I have no experience with a Border Collie. Of course, it would need training, but with these dogs, they absolutely need to work every day so this border collie would go and gather my chickens in the evening or if i were to make a command blow my whistle go gather the chickens and the guinea fowl this dog will go rile them up and put them in the pen like this is what the dogs need otherwise they get destructive based on my research so border collie also another farm dog uh, that we are considering rj what breed would you want that corgi Corgi? Why Corgi? The queen has it. That's why. <laughs> RJ's obsession with the royal family. Yes, Do any of you yes, guys have me. a Corgi? What are they like on the farm? I heard they're, not to offend, I heard Corgis are kind of lazy. Is this true? They're cute. They're cute. <laughs> of course, we could always go with the tried, tested, and true golden retriever or Labrador retriever. Um, I hear a lot of great things about them. I know they're very intelligent, larger dog, so you know, I mean, they can be menacing, I suppose, in case like someone comes to the place and is like, hmm, can I rob this house? That's definitely also on our possible list of dogs to have. Of course, was also looking into German Shepherd. What I love about the German Shepherd is their high trainability. Uh, police use German Shepherds, also the Malinois, right? A similar breed, highly trainable, and just all around a good working dog. Now I know with the German Shepherds, you need to get them from a good, good breeder um, because they have a wide range of bloodlines. Some German Shepherds are $2,000, some working German Shepherds are $40,000, and the difference is basically their capacity to be trained to do certain things and if we are to use the dog as a guard dog um, an attack dog if ever this dog of course would need to be trained I mean training must happen for all dogs right but with some breeds you need to really train them if you expect them to do certain things and if you want to avoid possible tragedies uh, from happening oh yeah beh. people were asking how come we're not considering uh, adopting one of the six puppies which were born on the Mabuhay Squad farm by the way for those of you who don't know a Aspen a street dog was pregnant she's been living with the workers who are building our house currently um, she's been with them for I guess over a year and she had puppies guys literally like in one of our bathrooms of the house she's got six of them they're so cute and they were offering to give us some of the puppies and I initially I was like yay we got new puppies but then RJ and I started talking and yeah we cannot commit to adopt the one of the puppies because, yeah. you know, we cannot bring him here. First of all, we can't fit a, a, a large dog in this condo. It wouldn't be fair. And second of all, we would have to be moved to the new place before we ever consider getting a dog and bringing it part of the family. So the workers, right, will probably end up having those dogs. Some of our friends were actually giving us their puppies, but we couldn't actually commit. Yeah, you know. We, could, we couldn't bring them here. Yeah, at the Torres Farm and Resort, you guys know, we were vlogging there recently. Um, Anna and Eric were offering to give us one of their puppy Shih Tzus. And I was like, oh, they're so cute. But taking on a dog is like, it's like taking on a child, right? It's a commitment. It's a huge commitment. It's not a decision you take lightly. Like, you gotta really assess your life. You know, you have to provide the best life for the dog. Um, and at this time, we just, we can't. We would love to, but we can't. 
until we move. It also wouldn't be fair to like take this dog that is used to being, you know, even if it's after the what, 12 weeks that it's with mom, this dog is used to living in the wide open space of a farm and then we take it from its family and force it to live with us here in this condo not fair so yeah that's one of the reasons why we didn't take one of those aspens although trust me guys i would love to and something tells me when we're moved there already animals will be coming to us like <laughs> I just know this. The property will attract all kinds of wild animals. We will be seeing this and I'm pretty sure our place might end up being a place where animals get rehabbed. I don't know. People might try to give us animals. We'll see. So uh, wishing those puppies best of luck anyhow. OMG guys, you won't believe what just came. I have been wanting this for so long. It's been over a year since I've had this, I think. OMG guys, and it's something you guys might really, really appreciate too. Mabuhay squad, check this out. So cool.